smoking campaign for power. Um, if you fill out a survey, your name goes into a draw to win double passes for the NRL All-Stars game next Friday. And you'll also get a t-shirt if you win a ticket. So please, if you haven't done a survey yet, please come on because we're going to do the draw today at 1 o'clock. So please come up and encourage everybody to try and take the pledge on giving up smoking because smoking is one of the major um, health issues that we all go through with chronic illnesses. So if you need any more information about all of that stuff, please come up and we'll actually help you be referred over to our Pick Primary Health Centre and they can actually assist you in giving up. I was trying to see the doctor about some nicotine patches to give them a go, see if they'll help, uh, help me kick the cigarettes. What I do is work with young people to help them in any way that they might need help in their lives. In regards to smoking, I would say to any young person, don't start. Stand aside from your friends and peers and be that person that says to others, don't start because it's very difficult to stop and it's so damaging to your health. To not take up smoking at all, like that's where it starts, that's where some addiction happens and we see that's where they pick up those poor habits so without starting something hopefully you don't have to break that cycle. Particularly when you think about why they take up smoking, the younger, you know, my younger children and younger people in the family take that up as a uh, as a way to fit in with their with their friend group, so a lot of peer pressure is felt um, with the kids. I've took a notice that in my health, while smoking, it's been deteriorating a little bit. It uh, affected me in my sports and in my uh, ability to work throughout throughout the day. There's uh, some good days, some bad days when I don't have the cigarettes. Uh, it's just it's just kind of a mental mental game for me to give up the cigarettes. Well, those who are thinking about taking up smoking, it's not worth the effort, it's not worth the time, it's not worth the health risk, and it certainly doesn't, it certainly isn't worth the financial risk as well. Yeah, it's no good, it just knocks you around, ruins your, ruins your breath, your teeth, and everything, you know. Make you short winded, you can't play football properly, you're short winded from bloody smoking too much, don't, don't do it, it's not worth it. I would say don't do it because $100 for a packet of cigarettes is crazy. I mean, you could go out and buy some really nice clothes with that, or shoes, or a week's groceries even. So, yeah, I'd say don't do it. Please don't do it. <laughs> because I saw what it was doing for my dad. He'd have a cough, and um, eventually he passed of cancer. So, I, you know, I got to see what it was like day to day, and also the, the health impact that it had. And it's something that I've encouraged my family members you know, even my own children not to do and to look after their health and because it does affect your body, mind and spirit, not just your pocket. So I think it's very important that um, the community has the knowledge that our young people are like sponges. They actually watch their adult family smoking and they think that it's OK. So I just want all of the family members and the community um, to actually take note that our young people are watching them and our um, our seniors within the community should be mentoring. So if you actually feel like you're going to pick up a cigarette, be mindful who's watching, put it away and wait until there's no young people actually um, looking because you're giving um, that message that it's okay to smoke when it's not. So again, it's about a community effort by trying to um, make sure that our young people don't take up that nasty habit. <laughs>